Welcome to Red Tech Channel, a new way to learn. So in MRI today I am going to discuss the GRE sequence. Please watch the previous video before watching this. The link is given in the description. So let's begin. GRE sequence or you can say gradient echo sequence. This sequence is basically different from the spin echo sequence. In the in this sequence we are not using any 180 degree RF pulse to rephasing the transfer magnetization. This is done by the gradient particularly of reversing of frequency encoding gradient and rephasing gradient read out the signals is called gradient echo sequence. Basically in this we are not using any 180 degree RF pulse basically for slice selection and phase encoding and to read out signals all are done by the gradient coils. So this is basically name suggesting that gradient echo sequence in this gradient coil are used and the flip angle is smaller usually less than 90 degree or you can take approx 10 to 80 degree the flip angle. Flip angle is that when you flip the hydrogen proton from its own position to any particular degree. So in gradient se sequence we use the less flip angle which is 10 to 80 degree which is very small flip angle so the recovery of longitudinal magnetization is higher than the spin echo when you flip the hydrogen proton at smaller angle then it can easily recover recovery its state than the spin echo so in this basically uh, this help in reducing the scan time which is basically better than the spin echo and we use the different different gradient like slice selection gradient phase encoding gradient and for read out the signals we use the frequency encoding gradient basically in this the vital role in the sequence is frequency encoding gradient which rephasing the proton after RF switched off so you must remember in the sequence that the no 180 degree RF pulse is used in this sequence and we give the less flip angle which help in recovery which increase the recovery rate of longitudinal magnetization which makes uh, less which makes or you can say which reduce the scan time as compared to spin echo. So basically the this shows the advantage which is better than the spin echo and we use the three different gradient for slice selection gradient phase encoding gradient and to read out we use the frequency encoding gradient so here you can see the flip angle like you make or you can say you put the less flip angle or you can say smaller flip angle which is lesser than the 90 degree and you can easily can see that hydrogen can uh, re recovery its state very soon so this is all about the gradient sequence i hope you clear out all the points to subscribe if you like and thanks for watching